Everybody, Spine Ticks Pressing here. CGC might have another major problem on their hands. You're going to want to watch this video to find out what might be going on. So let's get to it! Hey everyone, thanks for tuning in. I want to start by saying that what I'm about to share with you is in no way a repudiation of CGC. I like CGC, all my slab books are CGC, and I've mentioned before in other videos that I believe CGC graded comic books always retain the highest level of value for you, the investor. So having said all that, something is afoot that you need to know about. Just recently, I posted a video of a five book CGC unboxing, and to be frank, I was very disappointed with the results. I wasn't disappointed so much with the grading of my books when they returned, but rather with how bad the books looked in the slab. Many of the books showed signs of waviness in the cover, and there were distinct deep spine stress lines that were definitely not there when I sent the books off to CGC. Well, so what did I do afterwards? Well, I went straight to Facebook and posted my concerns asking other professional pressers for feedback on what might cause these issues to my books. Well, what I found out was that a number of the responses came back with similar issues and one post from Shelby Ferguson pointed me in the direction of the CGC forums to a thread called, now wait for it, is anyone else getting books backed with warped inner wells? Holy shit. So here's what I found. This thread started May 14th by Lord Rawl with a post describing a large submission of books, all with the inner wells with a concave shape in the slab that Lord Rawl described as, and I put in quotes, it's bending my book inside it, which is, of course, putting stress on the spine. Hey, if you feel this contributes to the community in this video, please hit that like button and share this video. If you haven't subscribed, I really need you to please be sure to subscribe to my channel for more comic book hobby content. So eventually, after a back and forth with CGC, on July 22nd, 10 days ago, one of the posters sh shares a response from CGC that states, and I'm quoting, quote, we have received the five slabs sent in as mechanical errors due to the wells being described as warped and bowed. Please note that this is a slight curve and it's a normal characteristic of how the wells cool and is not considered a defect. As such, these do not qualify as mechanical errors and will be rejected and sent back to you. Damn. So you can imagine these guys on the CGC forums are pissed. And ironically, there's a post shortly after that I want to share with you from Dave616. Here it is. So he's responding to this. Just admitting that they know of the warping and find it acceptable is ridiculous. Any reasonable person would understand that if you bend a comic like that, it will crease the spine. Yep. And I'm sick of my fellow YouTubers not calling CGC out for this. Same old story. I don't want my channel to be negative, so they upload CGC puff pieces instead. All these people interviewing Matt and not one will bring it up or ask about it. Now that was his words, not mine. So the entire thread is now over 13 pages and it's littered with images of deep spine stress and slabs photographed from the side that show what I'd call an S curve in the spine. Now a poster named Dan DJ eventually gets CGC to repress his books and re-slab the book and it comes back with the exact same issue. And as I continue reading through the post, I come across Sauce Dog Comics. Now if you don't know what I'm talking about, Jerry the Jitterbug who has a wonderful channel where he conserves comics, recently conserved an X-Men number one for Sauce Dog. Now Sauce Dog on the boards mentions how Jerry the Jitterbug got the book back with a lot of waviness in the cover and there are photos that he's got posted of creases on the back of the book and none of that was there when Jerry sent it off. So the thread, it wraps up with additional people noting similar problems Collectors are pissed that CGC considers the warping to be within the, the range of acceptability and some discussion as to when the problem started. 
And finally, they talk about what might be causing the warping to the inner wells, and I'll get to that in a minute. As of right now, the thread ends with Dave SFU sharing these images, and I'll put them right up on the screen here, and announcing to everyone that, quote, good news, everyone, this no longer is considered damage and will get you a 9.8. All right, here are some of the great photos that show you uh, how you can identify the warped inner wells if you want to check out your books. It's more prominent looking at the slab from the bottom when it's turned sideways like this or looking at the slab sideways from the spine side. What I've seen on most of my recent books are what I'd call an, a C curve or really distinct S curve to the spine inside the slab. And it's definitely putting stress on repaired spine ticks, make, making them stand out really bad in my opinion. So bad that the book doesn't hold up to the grade. So I did some research and I wanted to see if there were any other videos out there on YouTube about this problem. And yeah, I found this one from Make Room Collectibles. I've added a link below. Be sure to subscribe to this channel and hit the like button. All right. Here's the video from Make Room Collectibles. It has 1,700 views and it was posted on June 17th. Now I'm not including the entire video. Here's just some highlights. This one was really bad. <laughs> yep, still being, still being bent. Look at this, it's even worse now. Look at that. Pardon my language, but this is unfucking acceptable. Look at what it's doing to the book. Oh yeah, warped even worse. There you go. If you look here, you see the black line. Follow that black line. That inner well is basically hitting, and then the the back side of the slab, and then goes right back up, right there. Wow. Just wow. According to CGC, this is acceptable. This is within tolerance and acceptable. Wolverine book. Even worse. Look at that. Look at what it's doing to the book. It's destroying the book. Look at that. That is acceptable according to CGC. That's within tolerance. That is within tolerance. It's, look at that. With intolerance. Destroying the books. <clears throat> Incredible Hulk, 271. Same thing. Look at that. Look at the, the ripples across it. At the spine. Bowed. Bowed like a fucking banana. But, you know, hey, that's a, that's with intolerance. According to CGC, that's acceptable. That's okay. Web of Spider-Man, number one. Same thing. 9.8. Look at the rippling it's causing on the spine. On the left there, look at that. Bowed like a banana. All the way across. <laughs> Unreal. Unreal. But that's, that's acceptable and that's with intolerance. They claim that they re-slabbed these. I don't think they did. Or they did, and they gave me more warped inner wells. So Make Room Collectibles sent five books back for mechanical errors, and CGC said that they re-slabbed his books, and they came back uh, the same or even worse than they were before. Now, just yesterday, 
I received this post from Josh Wyatt in the Facebook, Facebook CGC Comics fan group on Facebook. He points out the same issues that I've mentioned here in this video in alignment with the CGC forum posters, but now he's got a theory on what's causing the warping. Now, Josh said that he believes that after Reholdergate, CGC started sealing their cases on all four sides, and the process of heating up each side is causing the warping of the inner well. Because as each side cools, and I think they're doing it one at a time, different sides of the inner well are heated and cooled at different times, rather than all at once. I find it to be ironic that Reholder Gate, where we had lesser grade books being swapped out into higher grade cases, might be the cause now of these changes to the encapsulation that's causing the inner wells to warp and potentially making the books that are inside it not to even appear to match the grade on the label. So I'm really curious to hear what you think. Is this a major problem for CGC? Is this all just a big overreaction, the result of hypercritical collectors? As I said earlier, this is not meant to disparage CGC or get you not to send books there, but rather to share something that's real and it's a growing issue in the community. Now, I'd love to hear your comments and thoughts below. I gotta give a shout out to Make Room Collectibles, Lord Rawl, Sauce Dog Comics, and Dave SFU for sharing those issues that you guys had. Please share this video. Let's help to create more awareness to this problem. Be sure to hit a like button and subscribe, and I appreciate you being here. So hey, get out there, find those comics that you love. While you're doing it, enjoy the hunt. And as always, happy hunting.